Sussex doomed day. Harry and Meghan blew up after new investigation unmasks their unethical faces. The hippie Wall Street investment firm backed by Prince Harry and Meghan Markle owns tens of millions of dollars of shares in Twitter, Facebook and YouTube's owner Google despite the couple decrying the hate they have encountered online and their personal crusade against fake news. Ethic, where Harry and Meghan are impact partners, has pumped clients' money into the world's largest social media platforms alongside oil companies and the biggest corporations in America as part of its business managing $1.3 billion of investments for around 1,000 wealthy clients. The New York-based business exists as part of a growing trend in the financial world for ethical investments that are marketed to provide clients with a clear conscience and social media-friendly talking point, as well as a healthy return on their stake. The financial firm boasts that it creates personalized sustainability solutions to help investors transition money toward companies that treat people and the planet with respect. But the company's financial filings reveal a long list of investments in American corporate giants, similar to the holdings of a traditional investment portfolio. These reveal that the $1.3 billion fund has $6.9 million in Facebook shares, a $2 million investment in Twitter and $32 million stake in Alphabet, the parent company of Google and YouTube. The prince said using social media has a high cost and condemned the lawless space it created in a column in August, while in 2020 they were reported to be working with a pressure group called Stop Profit for Hate that was organizing a Facebook advertising boycott. They also removed all their social media profiles after the Duchess of Sussex described how she struggled with the almost unsurvivable toll of internet trolling. Ethics filings with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission shows that it manages stock worth up to $45 million in Apple and millions of dollars more in corporates including Microsoft, Amazon, Coca-Cola, Visa, Nike, and Tesla. The fund holds shares in multiple oil and gas companies, several airlines and many of the world's biggest automotive manufacturers including General Motors, Honda and Toyota despite Harry and Meghan's green campaigning. There are also $4 million of shares in U.S. food giant Mandalay's, the owner of Cadbury's, who were accused in 2018 of destroying tens of thousands of hectares of orangutan rainforest habitat because of their palm oil suppliers. The Sussexes have both campaigned on forest conservation and the protection of endangered species. They also have shares in the pharmaceutical giants producing the world's COVID-19 vaccines, who Harry and Meghan believe should give up the patents on their jabs. But experts told Mail Online that the jury is out on the ethics of some of the companies Ethic has invested in. Market expert Becky O'Connor, head of pensions at Interactive Investor, said, Generally speaking, you wouldn't expect to find fossil fuels of any kind in an investment portfolio that is pure positive impact. She added that some so-called ethical funds sometimes invest in controversial companies that promise to go green, as activist shareholders, but there are questions about whether it is leading to change fast enough, Ms O'Connor said. Harry and Meghan are investing their own money in ethic, and are also reportedly shareholders, despite both of them previously criticizing social media firms the investment firm has bought shares in. The couple have not said how much cash they have personally put into ethic to manage their portfolio, which the, the company tailors to each individual investor meaning that the Sussexes are unlikely to have shares in Facebook. It has also been revealed that the Ethic Fund, founded by a British Prince Harry look-alike former public school boy with two fellow hippies, has pumped cash into all the major pharmaceutical companies that develop COVID-19 jabs. This includes $747,000 in Pfizer shares, $1.6 million invested in AstraZeneca, $2.2 million in Novartis, $2.5 million in Johnson & Johnson, $1.6 million in Sanofi and $760,000 in GlaxoSmithKline. This is despite Harry slamming ultra-wealthy pharmaceutical companies for not sharing the recipes and urging them to give up patents to allow poorer countries to vaccinate their population in a series of critical comments made as recently as a fortnight ago.